Hello friends! Today I am here with another Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday is hosted by Sam at Thoughts on Tomes. I will link her channel in the description below as well as the Goodreads group so you can see future topics. So the topic today is books you finally want to read in 2017. So in order to do this challenge I went through my physical shelves and my nook as well. I wanted to limit this to books that I've already owned because I own a lot a lot a lot of books that I have not read yet. So for that reason that's why I decided to just go ahead and limit that that stack there. I included ebooks that I own, physical books, as well as audiobooks that I own. So without further ado, let's get started. I realized by looking at this list that I have right now that I don't have like physical copies of most of these. I think I have physical copies of one, so sorry. Number five is Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. I have owned this since 2011. I own the ebook version of this. This is a book that's come highly recommended to me for multiple reasons. No, I have not seen the movie. No, I probably will not. Um, but one of my good friends actually did just finish reading this and she was raving about it, about how I had to read it. Um, it's just not a hundred percent, it's not like up there on my TBR, but it is a book that I definitely want to get to in the next year. Number four is The Historian by Elizabeth Costava. And sorry if I said that name wrong, I'm really bad at names as we have established. So um, I have actually started this book and not finished it. As you can see, it is pretty lengthy. And when I decided to stop reading it, it wasn't because I didn't like it. It was just because this is such a hefty book to get through and it was taking up so much of my time that I was like you know what I'm gonna put this down I'm gonna get back to it later um, I liked the initial story line or at least what I have read so far um, I like the idea of it as well this book is about the quest for the truth about Vlad the Impaler which if you believe folklore Vlad the Impaler also was Count Dracula or something along those lines so this has like a horror element and I really like the atmosphere um, from the part of it that I have read so this is why I want to make sure that I get to finish this in 2017. Number three on my list is Atlas Shrugged by Anne Brand. Her books are tomes if you have ever seen them or if you have ever read them. I myself have not managed to read anything by her as of yet but one of the reasons that I chose Atlas Shrugged was because of the fact that it is referenced so often in other literature. It has also been referenced in some of the games that my husband plays. So when you have a work that has such far reaches as that, it really motivates me to really be able to want to read that. And also I feel like that that also fits into what I wanted to do for 2017, which is read more of the classics, which I guess you could consider that a classic or I would anyway, it's on some required reading for school and things like that. So that's why I wanted to include that. I actually have that book on audio. It's like 63 hours. So it's gonna take me a really, really long time to get through it whenever I finally do decide to go for it. But I feel like it's gonna be well worth it. Number. So on the list is A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. Yes, I have seen the movie. No, I have not read the book. I don't know how I got this far in life without reading it, to be completely honest, because it is a more well-known classic, as well as the fact that it is a pretty well-known movie by Stanley Kubrick. One of the reasons that I want to add this to my list is because from what I have heard, the movie version does differ quite a bit in some aspects from the book. Um, one of my very best friends actually has a tattoo because it is one of her favorite books um, and she has highly recommended it to me many times so that is why I wanted to add it to the list and again it fulfills my requirements for reading more classics in 2017. And number one. <laughs> Number one for me is Anna Karenina and I have tried to read this book probably four separate times and every time I get like a quarter of the way through and then I stop. I think that there's a lot of reasons for that. Number one, it's a tome. It is a huge, huge tome. All of the names are very similar and I know that I definitely did have trouble actually, you know, keeping track of everybody. I think the very last time that I actually went to go read it, Oprah's book club had chosen that as one of their selections and they had like printed this whole like character list and all that kind of stuff. So I had to keep referencing that, which did help me, but I just, 
kept losing interest which is weird because I've really enjoyed the film adaptations that I have seen I'm not just talking about the newest version with Keira Knightley and Jude Law but I have also seen some of the older versions as well and I definitely did really enjoy those so like I know what the story is but when you have a book that large you definitely do lose a lot between the uh, text to film adaptation um, and that's one of the reasons that I, I've always wanted to go back through and read that. Also, just because I've started the damn book four times and still haven't been able to make myself finish it. So it's like an accomplishment for me if I manage to actually finish this. So, so that is my top five books that I want to read in 2017. Comment down below and let me know if you have actually read any of these and what you thought of them. Especially if you have read Anna Karenina because maybe you can like point me in the direction of how I can like make myself stay focused when I'm actually reading this. I don't know when I'm going to pick it up, but it is definitely like on my list. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.